Okay, I'm doing this video in honor of the Halo 2 Anniversary Edition coming out. Walkthrough of how to get the I Would Have Been Your Daddy skull. As stated there, if you don't have Envy skull, this little part's going to show you how to do that. You're going to need two game saves on Legendary. You need at least gotten through Cairo Station for the I Would Have Been Your Daddy part, so we can go to outskirts. And for Envy, you've had at least to have gotten to Delta Halo past uh, the Arbiter. I mean, uh, the Oracle stage. I'm just showing here how to get the Envy Skull. Doing it on a Ghost is just a little quicker. If you have the uh, tank, it's a little slower, but you can still do it. As you can see, I got that checkpoint right there. Um, this is key. Sometimes if you can walk over this edge, you'll get the checkpoint here. Once you've gotten that checkpoint, you can go ahead and save. As you can see, I pick up the Envy Skull. Now it's activated. And then I will have the cloaking abilities that the Arbiter has. So once you save this, um, it'll end up right back to where that checkpoint was right before killing that Grunt. And then all you have to do is pick up that Skull again and you'll have the Envy. So... The, uh, that's the first part, is just getting the, the Envy activated. The second part is having, uh, we're gonna be doing the infinite, infinite invisibility glitch. And so, like I said, it requires another game save. You can probably want to name it, I would have been your daddy. And you're gonna start on outskirts. And that's where you're going to start the game and have Envy activated. So if you've already had the Envy Skull, activate that Skull, then start up another game save and get to Outskirts. Once you're there, um, we're going to start the game and the trick is to try to get the checkpoint to activate while you're cloaked. And that's how the um, that's how the cheat is going to activate. So, I'm going to show you right now how I did it. Um, and we're also going to be doing it on the very first checkpoint. Because you have to get seven checkpoints in order for the skull to appear. And that doesn't always happen. So, saving it on the first checkpoint is going to be the best way. So, if you can see right here when I do it, checkpoint already activated. Um, so go ahead and restart the the whole level. Again, what we're trying to do is activate the cloak, and then while cloaked, the checkpoint shows up. So that way, when you start the game, you'd already be cloaked. And when you start the game already cloaked, it'll stay cloaked forever. So as you can see, I'm going to jump up here. And usually I would cloak and there'd be a checkpoint. And again, didn't work. <laughs> no checkpoint this time. Last time it was too early. So I'm just showing that it might take a couple of tries to get this right. So I activated it. You see the checkpoint while I was cloaked. That's what we want. And that's where you're going to save it and quit. So that way, when we restart, it's gonna it's gonna work. Now, the trick here is we have to actually turn off the Xbox and turn it back on. If you have Envy activated and then you do this trick, Envy is going to override it and it's going to only work for 10 seconds like it normally does. So you actually have to turn off the Xbox, turn it back on, reload outskirts here with the where we just saved it, and then when you reload it, as you can see, we're cloaked and we're going to stay cloaked. And that's the whole point. So you cannot have Envy, you cannot get the Envy Skull before you do this. Because if you do, it's not going to work. That's why we had to turn it off. Okay, so jumping up here, we're gonna go to this corner and we're gonna get another checkpoint. Checkpoint number two. There it kicks in. Pelican's gonna come by with Johnson. You don't have to kill these guys. I'm just doing it because for the heck of it. Need an escort 
Understood. I'll keep an eye on him. Chief, good luck. So here's this third checkpoint here. There it is. We can jump back down to this broken highway. And jump up on the roof across the street. Gotta do a little duck jump. I usually wait for the pelican to, to disappear. I don't know if you have to. Come over here, look down, there's gonna be a dead marine, and when you do, if you get far enough over the edge, you'll see another checkpoint, number four there. Uh, start running across over here. To the other side of this highway. Drop down. Checkpoint number five will be around this corner. Right there. Now, if any of these checkpoints don't show up, you're gonna have to restart, but don't save. So you'd have to actually turn off the Xbox, turn it back on, and reload it. Um, there's the sixth checkpoint right there. That's it should always be by those boxes. And then there's going to be a seventh checkpoint when we get up to where the skull area is, which is um, coming up here. And jump across. There'll be a skull in there. There's actually not going to be a skull in there until that checkpoint goes. So right now, that's not in there. Now it is. So there it is. We're going to pick it up. And we're going to kill all the elites. We're going to have seven waves of elites, starting with one elite all the way to seven. And we're cloaked, so it's going to be a lot easier. It's not going to be too easy, because even though you're cloaked, these guys still know where you are so, somewhat. As you can see, they keep turning and looking at you. They actually will turn toward you and run toward you. And if they do touch you, a lot of times they'll take out their sword or they'll melee you and you're dead. Uh, right there, I got kind of lucky. He didn't uh, swipe me right away. The ones with the swords are the worst. They will kill you in one shot if you miss them. So that's why I'm trying to sneak up behind everybody in the back and hit them. You hit him in the front, you run the risk of dying immediately. And the problem here is if you die, the last checkpoint, even though it was before the skull, that skull won't be there anymore. So um, I'm kind of doing this the, uh, the not-so-safe way, I guess I could put it. Uh, the safe way would be to, to go jump up on those rooftops, run around until I found a uh, checkpoint again. Because after I got the second checkpoint, after that skull appears and saved it, the next time I uh, re reload, we would get uh, you'd be able to go back and get the skull, and then go ahead and fight these seven waves. What I'm doing though is I'm kind of hoping I'm going to get a checkpoint after killing a bunch of these guys. That one, I can just um, load up the Xbox after killing only a couple of elites, and then activate the skull. Not there. So right now it looks like we're on the fifth wave. There's one, two, three. Get a little close there. Four and five's over here. Again, if you die here, you're gonna have to turn off the Xbox and reload this part all over again and then try to and and uh, go through all those checkpoints all over again and hopefully the skull activates. Again, it may not activate every time. Um, I don't know if it has something to do dependent with the AI and the ground that are fighting each other, but sometimes those checkpoints just don't show up when they're supposed to. Um, and if they don't, your best bet is just to start all over again. So this is the sixth wave here. Another thing, like I said, just keep moving. If you sit in one spot, they'll just, they will run up to you, and they will come up behind you and kill you immediately. So not 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 a cakewalk just because you're cloaked, but uh, quite a bit easier because you are cloaked, obviously. The last of these guys here. There's two more left, or three more. So I'm going to kill these two, and after the, the, there's one left now, I'm going to actually run around the perimeter, hoping that I can get a checkpoint. And that way I'm going to have to, have to kill one guy, and then my skull will activate, so I can, I'll be able to save my game. Because right now I ha I've only gotten one checkpoint 
when the skull showed up, I need another one afterwards. So, like I said, I did, I did this the not-so-safe way. I locked out, I got a checkpoint, so now I'm going to have to kill this guy for the skull to activate. So, just to demonstrate, I'm going to save it and quit. Then reload it, and you can see I'll get the skull just by killing this one guy. Remember, too, that if, if you do want to save this skull uh, make sure you do this before you do if you want to do envy as well do the envy after don't do the envy before if you do the envy before i would decloak right now and he would see me and kill me so there it is i got the skull and that's all there is to it